morning and welcome to Rennyshaw on the Chestfield Canal. So I've just come today just to have a look at, um, well, I think it's an exciting project called Rewatering Rennyshaw. It's quite an important milestone in uh, reclaiming that, that missing eight miles, is it eight miles? I can't remember now, um, of the Chesterfield Canal. So we are just starting with Storm Dudley at the minute, so I'm fighting the wind. So I'll hand over to the comfort of my living room where I'll explain a little bit about the history of, uh, of this bit of canal in Rennyshaw. So this was the site of the old Rennyshaw Ironworks. So between 2008 and 2010, it was part of a new housing development alongside the canal. Around 500 metres of the disused canal was opened up. This included re-excavating the canal, adding a footbridge, a park, a new towpath. So if we fast forward 12 years, this is what it looks like now. So I think it's safe to say that although the spirit and execution of the initial canal restoration back in 2010 was well intended, it failed to provide what the vision most probably intended. So as you can see from the modern day footage, the canal's now empty, overgrown and doesn't really serve any purpose as a canal. The lack of fresh water, vandalism and minimal maintenance make the site a far cry from those early fresh images. So the rewater in Renishaw project seeks to revitalise and extend the current derelict channel. So this is all part of what's been billed as phase one of the canal restoration from Stavely to Renishaw, which will see approximately four kilometres of new or restored canal brought back to life. Phase one is expected to take an unspecified number of years, costing £4 million, but the work at Renishaw end, which is phase 1A, can be completed a lot sooner. I mean, as you can see, it's quite obvious it's suffering from a lack of fresh water. And the, uh, the smell's quite, quite rancid. I think I've pointed that out on other videos in the past as well. Excuse me, what are you doing? Hey, hey. So people keep asking why they're not seeing more of the dog on my videos. I'm trying to control this thing while holding a camera. Come on. Six months on, still hyper. So we're just to the south of Rennie Shore, just alongside Trans Pennine Trail, Great Central Line on that side. And this is the section which they, uh, they seem to have started the work on. Lots of uh, lots of tree clearing, quite quite obvious. It's been a quite a quite a tough path to navigate when I've come down here in the past. Because of the trees um, swamping the towpath. But it's much more open and accessible these days. So we am a bit more sheltered down here. I mean, a bit of a bit of a cutting. Um, but I've got the, the roar of the wind in the trees. It's, it's quite loud. I hope it's not coming across too loud on the camera. Got the noise of the diggers as well, just on the other side. Moving a bit of earth around. Whatever they're doing in there, I've not quite figured it out yet. So quite a lot of tree clearing in this section, just a bit further up, about 300 yards up from Bridge at Rennishaw. So we've got this, and I can't decide if this is a, where water comes in or water drains away from the canal. Try and stop the dog jumping in. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of clearance done around this. So if you read the information page on the Chesterfield Canal Trust website, it does mention about pumping fresh water from the River Rother, which is literally just the other side of where that pylon is through the trees. So I'm not sure if that would be from here or not. So the clearance works just stopped there and you can see the difference. That's just towpath level with vegetation I mean, there is some cutting still I can see tops of trees cut off there whether or not they're just kind of storing or dumping the the, the off cuts in here for the time being I'm not sure so I've never seen this section before 
whoa, it's really slippy. Tell you what, it's one thing trying to keep upright in mud like this, never mind 30 kilograms pulling you in one direction. But look, I've never noticed this. This has been, as far as I know, this has been buried for a long time. Would this just be a, a wharf? I don't think there was a lock here, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus! Look at the state here. I mean, you know, respect. in two days getting put through the washing machine. Anyway, by the time this video goes out, we'll have had Storm Dudley and Storm Eunice. So I hope everyone's come through unscathed. So it will be brilliant just to see a little bit of progress made on that section. I think it'll show a real sign of intent on, um, on the projects to connect up with the end at Stavely. Yeah, so that's just a short video, just to show you what they're getting up to. Just started the work last month in January 2022. So yeah, I'll, I'll try and keep tabs on what's happening and chuck out a few more short um, update progress videos as the, uh, as the months or years progress. So I'm quite excited to see it start to take shape. So, uh, so thanks again, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon on another video if I'm not dragged head first into a canal first. <laughs>